Hello, hello. What up? It's the 420 special, bro. I'm not smoking weed, but I am drinking wine out of a green ish coffee cup. Welcome to Nice Live, a pretty low budget, lo fi production that we're still working the kinks out of. I'm your host, Ricky Reed. We have an exciting, exciting show for you tonight. We have Nice Life artist John Robert checking in. We also have Zach Carper from Fiddler, one of my very best friends, going to be in the mix. We have uh, a demo that we're going to give the old thoughtful roast. Uh, I think Zach's going to stick around and do some listening. Let me see who is in the damn chat tonight let me see who's in the motherfucking mix let's see i'm gonna do what we always do oh boy things aren't looking good for you guys i want to ask how everybody's feeling we're gonna do our little uh uh take the temperature uh on a scale of one to ten including decimal points let me know how you are feeling i'm going to do more of this. It's been an interesting couple days. I found myself last night sitting in this very chair with a hood of my sweatshirt pulled up. Google image searching Nova Scotia and remote cities in Greenland. I think that's my way of uh, finding peace. <laughs> hey, if you've never done Google Street View in remote parts of Siberia, you're missing out. Okay, how's everybody feeling? Let's see. In the chat, Claire Rudolph is at 6.5. That's not bad. Uh, Gabe Simpson, 6 or 7. Whoa, Evander Gonzalez, 9.2. Congrats. Ian Galdi is a 4.20. <laughs> Well done. Alyssa Johnson, solid five, dog. Vazen, good to see you again, 7.3. We got Cowboy Lansky in the motherfucking chat. He's feeling like a seven. Quinn Hogan, 9.5. People, some of you guys are feeling okay. I'm seeing a lot of 420s. Yes, this is our 420 special. Am I going to smoke weed on the show? No, but I'm going to talk to some people who may have. They may have. I do have a green cup tonight. It's kind of yellow green, but it's it's green enough. Mm. So we got a couple new faces. I'm seeing. I know there's some Fiddler fans in the building. I'm bracing myself. I'm bracing myself. Um, really excited to have Zach here. Uh, last week, Zach Zach's really good friend of mine, really close friend of the family, and uh, Zach was actually the first in-person hang that we've done since quarantine. Um, I'll talk to him about it later, but uh, he, he came over and he, with like a, there's like a gate out in front of where we live, and Zach just stood, uh, he actually brought his own chair and a cup of tea, and he sat on one side of the gate, and then we sat on the other side of the gate, you know, good 10 feet from each other, and you know, just kicked it, as you do, <laughs> seated outside on the other side of a gate like a fucking chained animal. So that was nice. Such a weird time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we're going to open up the pit. Oh, Zachary Carper is also in the chat, so open up the damn pit. We have a new face, Nick. Nick McAleon. Sorry, says first timer, but love your work. Thanks, Nick. Uh, we're gonna get it popping. We're getting damn popping tonight. So we're gonna do what we always do. Uh, this is 
well, I guess I'm not exactly doing what we always do. We're going to mix it up a little bit um, tonight. Oh, I got to do my ding for switching to office hours. Yeah, there you go. Just the old. Yep, yeah, it's great. Um, we're, we're, we're changing things up a little bit this week. Tonight we're going to do um, office hours, which is where you get to ask questions. Um, we're going to do our check-in with Zach, and uh, we're going to premiere some new music from John Robert. Uh, we're do our thoughtful roast, but we're also tonight. We're not going to do live production. We're going to do live production Thursday. I'm going to get a few more pieces of equipment set up, and then Thursday I'm going to be able to do live production the whole show, so I won't have to rush, um, rush through the shit. Ah, okay. So I'm seeing how you guys are doing in here. I'm going to take three questions. Try to keep my answers brief. Um, no guarantee though, because the wine is flowing. Hit me with some damn questions if you got them in the chat. I'll wait for you guys to do that. I'm gonna pour another. I gotta get like a second, like a segue music, don't I? Could be my segue music. Hmm. Let's see if I can. That's nice, but maybe I should like. Maybe I should make a little set up a little a quick little vibe of sorts. Uh, mm, what do we got here? Okay. Um, and uh, we have some segue me ask questions. Oh. Segway music. What do you got? What do you got? People, what do you got? Okay. Henry Jackson in the chat saying, I miss Fiddler shows. My guy, so do I. Best live band in the world. Um, oh, good morning, says Avishay Tuchman. Haven't shouted you out yet, but hello from far across the pond. Oh, we got some good questions coming in tonight. We're going to start them with Fug Shid. <laughs> I just love this. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to try to answer this. Um, but let's talk about it. Uh, Fug Shid says, "Why do I disappoint every person I meet?" I mean, we've never met Fug Shit, but why do you think? Do you have any thoughts on the matter? I'm going to check back in with you because I really, I like that coming out the gate is the first question. Um, let's see. Some of these I do not know, but I do not. Gabe Simpson, best tips for live mixing. It's not my forte. Um, Codelex, Codelex says... You see nice life music on other platforms like video games. Would love to see some of that. Um, here we go. Here's one I actually know the answer to. Not Handsome Cody says, how long it took to produce Swala. That was a, uh, a Jason Derulo, Nicki Minaj, Ty Dolla Sign song that I produced. Run produced. Um, like <clears throat> most songs that... I write with two specific guys, uh, a songwriter named Jay Cash and a songwriter named Lunch Money Lewis, two dudes who are dear to my heart. I got to have both of them on. You guys would love them. They're fucking funny. Um, that one, the I would say the bulk of the production was done while we're writing. They're essentially saying shit back and forth, and I'm just... Um, that one we used a... Sequential Circuits Prelude for the main synth melody. The bass line, I believe, was on my ARP 2600. Super fun. Came together really fast. I mean, most of the production was done uh, in the five to six hours that we wrote the tune. Um, let's see. Ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> Claire Rudolph says, How do you create a solid collaborative vibe in the studio? 
That's a good question. It's almost the same. The answer is almost the same as like, how do you, how do you host like a good party? How do you, um, how are you a good host to guests? You know, it, it, it's pretty much inviting people in to your space and asking them what they need. Um, you know, glass of water, bathrooms in the back, whatever, you know, the, the human necessities. And then, and then checking in with them, like asking how they're doing, trying to meet them where they are. If, if they're having, they seem to be off or having a tough day, trying to go there with them, you know, not prying or being intense, but like, um, trying to see how everyone's doing. I mean, like if I can, it doesn't matter if it's like a superstar artist or like a brass section and it's like a trombonist and a trumpeter I've never met. Try to like meet everyone where they're at and just see how people are doing and find something to relate on and kind of start there. And then from there, the biggest and most important thing you do is to not put pressure on yourself. One thing you'll never, ever, ever hear me say at the beginning of a day is like, we're going to write a hit. Hey, let's write a hit. That's horrible. It's just to put that kind of pressure on yourself makes everything hard. And also it isn't cool or inspiring or interesting. So I always just try to like meet people where they're at, get a little vibe, and then start just noodling around on the instrument. You know, I might hit a beat like this. But like start noodling around and let somebody say, hey, what's that? Oh, that's cool. Hey. Sharing all my tricks. Um, And then see where it goes from there. Let's see. Wow. Um, John Robert, I'm going to get to that question. I see you. I see you. Oh, yeah. Brad Herring, the assistant engineer of Swala, is in the chat. Should have asked you for some some tips, Brad. Um, Let's see. Yes, Sarah Fisher says, J Cash and Lunch Money are icons, true icons. So, Nick McKellian, that's my second attempt there, how was the transition going from producing pop artists and going to producing Fiddler being so garage rock? Um, Great question. Uh, Fiddler was a band that I had loved for a long time. I grew up playing in bands, rock bands, punk bands, nerdy prog rock uh, stuff. If you've ever heard, heard or seen me play with Facing New York, they're a band that I grew up playing with in Oakland. Um, still a band. Fucking sick band. Uh, and so I had experience with a lot of different kind of various versions of like rock music and everything but Fiddler is special because each member is not only such a unique musician in and of themselves but also just a unique personality it's like four you know four different stars in their own way I know I know that word is cheesy but it's true like four stars in their own way um four guys with unique perspectives uh they're so unique and so original and I don't mean this in an unkind way they're almost like caricatures of themselves like they're just it's like they've always existed (laughs) Um, from the beginning of time like you know Elvis has always been Elvis Max has always been Max Brandon's always been Brandon and of course Zach's always been Zach and there's something about that that was really exciting to me and the goal when going into the album was like how do we make this a truly collaborative process how do we get everybody's flavor on it and make it fun um fun and collaborative and it was truly fun as shit and really funny as the funniest sessions i ever did and and we all you know challenged each other and pushed each other and it was fucking awesome looking forward to doing more we'll talk to zach more about that in a little bit blow up james says shout out dogtown that's right dogtown that's the facing new york album that's a it's a damn doozy. So, 
tonight is pretty exciting. We're going to be checking in with one of my favorite damn dudes. I'm going to talk to him about a song he has dropping. Uh, it's going to be fun. I'm going to see if he's around. Let's we'll see if this works. We never know. If you've seen this show, you know the technology ain't guaranteed. It just ain't. But we're going to see if uh, if this is going down. Let me see. I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to introduce. Attempt to introduce to the chat. Nice Life Recording Artist. Are you there? John Robert? Hey, Ricky. What's happening? Hey, that worked. Tight. How you doing, dude? Doing all right. Can't complain. Hey, wait, where are you at right now? Hey, hey. I am... Um, I'm, in, I'm in my basement. Uh, I do have a basement. It's weird. It's it's the the first time that we ever came to this house. Uh, we came downstairs with May, as my daughter, who's now three. You know her, of course. But for all the people out there, we came down here. She was two at the time, <laughs> and she goes, "We we come down here," and she goes, um, "She goes, who's old lady?" And I was like, "What?" She goes, "Who's old lady?" And I was like, "Who's the old lady?" She said, "Yeah, who's old lady?" And I was like, "What the fuck are you?" Doing? Like, and you bought the house? Like no, no, we, and we, no. We didn't even we didn't buy this place. We we're just we're just in here checking out the vibe. And she's asking me who the old lady is when we come down to the basement. So that's kind of. Anyways. Wait, do you so anyways, old that? lady is live in the chat with me right now. If you see her behind me, John <laughs> Robert, let me know. Yes, sir. Um, so you're you're home. Where where exactly are you? I'm at my girlfriend's house currently because she has better Wi-Fi and internet connection. Oh, we like that. We like that. Yes, we do. We Shout really out to the appreciate. girlfriend for letting you uh, abuse the Wi-Fi for a minute. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I was on. I was sound checking with Zach earlier, and I was. I just hate. I hate having to say this. It's so tacky, but like, the obligatory like, um, if your girlfriend is like streaming, can you like ask her to stop? Like. It doesn't feel good. I have to ask Laura that every time I get on here, and she's like, "Yeah, okay, cool." Yeah. So I, I had to do that. Um, I had like uh, this room is their little meditation room, and I just kind of take it over when I come into town. They're very gracious hosts, uh, and I just feel really weird making music in here. So I had to put the setup back home, and they're just quietly eating lunch, and then they hear me going, Whoa! <laughs> and then stacking all the vocals, dude. For a, for a little for a little fake run that was like a very clean little fake run. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just for the record. So, so you were in California up until a few weeks ago. I want to tell everybody this story, and and I heard through the grapevine. I think through Brad. Who Brad? If you're around, um, we're gonna be. I want to talk to you in a little bit. So, get on deck if you can. Um, I heard through the grapevine, I think through Brad, that you were going to go back. And I was like, oh, he's going to get on a fucking plane. He's gonna, you know, and my, like, uh, yeah. it, me and Brad's um, sort of adopted dad role <laughs> for you, adopted father role, we're like, oh, shit, okay. So um, I want to, because I haven't actually talked to you about this uh, since you flew out. I, you know, I, I got, I found a nice face mask in my house and I handed it off I think to Jazz who delivered it to you and I want to know did you actually rock the face mask on the plane? Yeah, did absolutely. you do it? I felt like, uh, did you ever watch Lego Ninjagos? Watch what? It's after. <laughs> um, no, I just felt like an absolute ninja. Just a badass. Also it had the little uh, uh, black filter. Right. I don't know. You guys really did me up. As far as fashion wise with the face, uh, with the face mask. Yeah. Killing it. No, it was it was definitely it was definitely a vibe. All right, I'm gonna drop in. Uh, wait, what? Yo, what are you wearing, bro? What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's Monday, man. Did you say it's Sunday, man? No, it's Monday. Oh, okay. You know, just, uh, <laughs> just wrapping up a day at the old <laughs> office, huh? Yeah, you know. Just because I'm working from home doesn't mean that I wear sweatpants. Come on. Did you um, 
John Are you not wearing boxes under that? What's that? What? Are you not wearing boxes? Like just strictly boxes? Like a like a over the phone interview? Or a webcam no, interview? I'm wearing a full fucking get. Get up, man. Oh, are you, oh, are you yeah, suggesting, John Robert, that Brad may not be wearing pants? Yeah, I'm just full on naked pants. below this. <laughs> naked. Man, Brad nice to have the. Uh, I gotta introduce you to the people properly. This is the GM of Nice Life, Bradley Herring, in the building. Hey. Um, people are loving the fit. Oh, we got Tony. Tony's in the chat, guys. Say hi. Oh, what, what does Tony think about the fit? Uh, it's just flame emojis, so I think you're passing. That's wow. Huge. It's huge. So, <laughs> let's see. Yep, we got Zach, and Zach is saying hi to, to Tony. Larry Wade, um, also of Nice Life, is wondering if you have dress pants on at least, though. Are they dress pants? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> there it is. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> there it is. Um, so, I want to... I wanna, do two things one if people have any questions for john robert questions for brad question about the fact that he's probably wearing sweatpants and flip-flops under his jeans more fucking levi's it's fine (laughs) (laughs) if you're wearing a suit top and levi's i I wish you were wearing blue jeans just a full (laughs) 90s vibe Uh, Um, we're going to john robert you have a song that's going to drop in seven minutes. Is that right? Yeah, I do have a song dropping in seven minutes. Brad, 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 you got the info. Seven minutes? Six? Seven minutes, dude. All right. Wow. PT, 12 a.m. And, and tell me, Brad, when does the, uh, when does the video drop? Do you know? Ooh, that's coming out tomorrow morning. All right. That's a surprise. That's coming out tomorrow all, morning, though. All damn right. Uh, well, um, I guess, Brad, do we, John Robert, I'm going to ask Brad, do we have permission to play this song six minutes before it drops? As long as you play it twice. Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> Damn. All right, people in the chat, if you have questions for John Robert, questions for Brad, or even questions for me, we're going to give John Robert's new single, Pelican, a test run. It's a world. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see if I can do it. It's a. It's a. It's a world premiere. Oh, I, I fell hard once before when I was seventeen. I kissed on her. Come on, John Roberts. Feel it. You left some books in my house that I'll never read And I got me a sweater that I haven't seen And if ever you find it, I hope you'll think of me Yeah, and I found me a lover who's just as cute It's not hard to say when she looks like you And I wish not to care, but part of me hopes you're well Oh, yeah Well With my head of a pelican I just wanna let you in Gobble you up Just gobble you up So sweet to the touch Call on my love and I'll bottle you People in the chat, are you feeling it? Yeah, hit that note. 
All right. All right. People. Wow. There it is. Sounds great. great. Uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and add that I uh, produced this one with John Robert. I did not co write it. John Robert writes all of his own music. Uh, I just help him make the drums sound nice. Would you say that's fair, John Robert? That's extremely fair. My drums always sound like ass. <laughs> <laughs> Man, congratulations. People in the chat, are you feeling it? Um, we have some questions coming in. Uh, that was John Robert. We're going to listen one more time because Brad said we have to. Those are the rules. And by the time we no, finish this can. second listen... It should be out, yeah. It's going to be out. Here we yes. go. One more time. How this is John is Robert. Now? Fucking Pelican. Let us know what you're thinking, what you're thinking about. Come on. I'm going to jump in the chat. When I was 17, I kissed on her so sweet and solemn. Oh, we got Godfather in the chat. What up? Brad, what are you drinking? With my head up a pelican, I wanna let you in gobble you up. Just gobble you up. So sweet to the touch. Call on my love and I'll bottle you up. Bottle you up. You are people are loving it. Let me know what you're thinking. It's officially out. Stream, save, Man. share. John Robert, how do you feel? Um, I feel relieved, man. I didn't know when this thing was going to be released. I'm so happy to put this out and more music out, man. Also, uh, I've just been snickering to myself about the music video and how we got funding to make a giant pelican head on UCLA's campus. I'm so really excited for people to see it. Yeah, the video is bonkers. We are very, 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 very stoked to share that with everyone tomorrow. Um, let's see. We have a lot of comments about your voice in the chat. People are It's ranging from terrible to bad to super embarrassed for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have a pitchy? Yeah, exactly. People are saying it, the, it was a real pitchy vocal take. Um, that's about all we're seeing. Uh, let's see. This is a jam. This Breezy says Ashcon. Brianna says Velvet Vocals. Um, Gabe Ooh, Simpson, Simpson says, I, I, think, I think that's Rip JR. I'm hoping it's not RIP. <laughs> no, no, it's RIP. Rip it, bro. That was my favorite one from Gabe. You're fucking ripping. <laughs> um, you fucking rip it. Quinn Hogan yeah, says, John, the song is a damn banger. Uh, Thanks, and Cowboy Lansky requested three more performances of it, so thank you, Cowboy. That's a lot. God yeah. bless Cowboy. I was just texting him today. Quite a few. Yeah. Also, we had, uh, I think we had Godfather in the chat. Did you see that, Brad? I saw you say it. 
Yeah, he he fucking what? popped in. Bikini trails yeah, back. I see it. Fire flame and then peace. Yeah, we got some the homies are out tonight. Um Shit. this is exciting. Well, John Robert, Brad, thank you both for popping on. If either of you stay in the in the little fucking on deck zone, I might call you back. So Hey man, I got nowhere else to be. If you that like if, if if that's the if that's the future you want, you may return. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Everyone say bye to them. Uh, thank see you guys. See you guys soon. Thank you, boy. See you soon. Bangers only, bro. That uh, snare drum, by the way, that we're all talking about uh, is an SM7. No, SM57 uh, on a snare and hi-hat played gently. That's it. Little compression, little EQ. If you want a good snare sound, find a kind of dead snare, play it softly, and that's about it. That's about it. I see uh, we have Digital T in the mix as Bop City. Uh, we have Larry Wade in the mix. Larry Wade, I'm going to need you on this show. The other, uh, other member of the Nice Life Brain Trust, also a very well-dressed individual, we will have you on have you on next so we are going to move to the next portion I have a very very special friend I only have one friend <laughs> I have a special friend here tonight um, as I said he was my first hang in quarantine uh, through the gate it's kind of sad but nonetheless, we're going to bring him out. Let me see. I believe he should be on deck here. Where is that gentleman? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, please give me a warm, silent <laughs> welcome to Zach from Fiddlar. What up, dude? Hi. Hi. How are you? What is up? You fuck, You know what's up, dude. We've been. I know. I know. It's weird. Life gets weird. And it gets weirder, and then you think it's good, and then it gets weird again. It's crazy. Like, we'll, we, you know, I think I talk to you a lot more than I talk to most people, but, like, just the vibe of, like, talking on Monday, and it's like, how you doing? It's like, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm exercising. I got a good amount yeah. of sleep. And, you know, talk two days later, and it's like, I feel, things are very bad for me now. <laughs> You know? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's, it's quite a. Sorry, say that again. You broke up for a second. Oh, uh, it's quite a roller coaster. It's just like yeah, like the same thing. I was just talking to uh, um, Matt from Matt and Kim, mm. and he's definitely like crazy thinker. Oh and, yeah. Um, he actually sounds really good, and I'm like, all right, hit, hit me up tomorrow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Like, um, the, the, the big thinkers are both, uh, you know, on a good day, love talking to a big thinker. On a big thinker's bad day, I got to avoid him like the play. <laughs> oh, I, I got a couple people in my orbit who, when they, you know, they're brilliant intellectual people who – when they uh, follow their sort of darker impulses, you know, I'm just like, oh, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't have that energy. I just cannot even, you know. Yeah. Um, but how how are you today? Okay, on a on a scale of one to ten, where are you at? I mean, I'm it's, uh, I, I'm actually good today. Um, you know, the first week was the hardest for me. Yeah. And. Uh, got stuck i got stuck in this loop you know my feed is all just like music news and every day it's all right well you can't tour till august and then it's like oh what no nope, they're saying november and nope they're saying spring next year and it just keeps going right it's wild it's kind of a funny way to get like fired from your job totally, totally. <laughs> to, to be on instagram like, and be like i can't work until summer i can't work till fall i can't work till yeah. next <laughs> like yeah. did the yeah. internet just fucking retire Fire me <laughs> like yeah, yeah. news on totally. it what the f so it, it is a weird thing too of like you know 
we've we've been uh, touring for basically ten years. Right. And when thirty rolls around, you like look back on your twenties and you're like, man, I've been doing that for a long time. Am I going to keep doing it like that? Right. And, and then you just have no choice now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You know the thing. Uh, um, I know that we probably have a lot of Fiddler fans in the mix. Um, and, you know, the the thing about touring, like, you know, in interviews, bands will often have different things to say about touring. Some some of them will uh, lie and say, oh, it's my favorite thing ever. I, you know, I, I, I can't, I, you know, it's all I think about. I eat, sleep, and drink, you know, whatever. Um, the truth is it, it can be hard on us. It can be hard on our bodies. And, and we... We of course do genuinely love to get out and perform and connect with our fans. It's like it's amazing, but also the the toll it takes is pretty serious. But the thing that I I've been thinking about actually just as of recently, um, in other parts of the music industry I'm doing work in, is like when when you've been a touring musician like you have for ten years or whatever one thing that's really magical about it is it gives you the ability to meet anybody where they're at. You meet somebody like, you know, from anywhere in Europe or anywhere in the States or maybe from Mexico or anywhere. And like, I feel like Zach, you can immediately be like, Oh yeah. Like that city. Oh yeah. I, I love that restaurant there. I love that bar. Like, I almost got arrested <laughs> there. Yeah, it gives you this unique ability to, to um, connect with people, right? Yeah. What do you think? 100%. 100%. It's, it's, it's a source of inspiration, too. You know, a lot of uh, our fans are, are a unique breed of people. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> a lot of lyrics come from just talking to them. Right. You know? And... Um, yeah, so that's gonna change. It's this this is heartbreaking. Do you, do you miss them right now? I do. It's crazy. My brother in law just posted a show on his Instagram. It's like outdoor punk venue. Okay. And it just like I don't know, it just brought me back. And you know, you just get caught up in trying to grow this thing and play bigger venues and right. all this stuff. And then a pandemic happens. And now all I want to do is play like, a, like a grungy living room. Oh, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if, if this is going to like age me or what, or, or, or what it would do. If people out there take this how you will, but I was like, my first thing I was gonna say is like, let's play a fucking show at Chain Reaction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like all I want, but like a venue of that size, like just totally. like, like the first time that you pack out like a two fifty cap room, you're just like, this is, yeah. this is everything I want to be for the rest of my life. There's no better feeling than that, right? I am willing to take a shit in the smell bathroom just to play the smell. <laughs> I mean, dude, the places that we're willing to take shits alone is testimony for the fact that musicians yeah. really, really do love it. I mean, wait, you guys never did Warp Tour, right? No, no. Oh, dude. No. The band killer. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly... Truly is the band killer. Yeah. Really? Actually, as I was texting you uh, to do our, our sound check for this, I started punching in your number and like the first, like, I don't know, five digits of your number, which will remain anonymous, uh, were the same as Kevin Lyman's. Oh, big, big. Coincidentally, as I was, <laughs> as I was winding up. So you're not touring, um, obviously, but are you finding ways to sort of like, work those muscles or stay creative or um yeah 100 percent. i am addicted to adobe premiere and <laughs> going through my phone 
of like, there's so many videos of Max and Elvis just like yelling at each other. <laughs> and I'm just editing all of it together to make it funny. Oh, oh it's just my been God. cracking me up. There's nothing better than that. Cause you know, if, if it's like, if it's fun to make it and just fun to watch it by yourself, like, you know, yeah. people are gonna, people mm -hmm. are gonna fuck with it. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. I mean, like that was the first week was, oh, well, I can't do music anymore. I can't play shows. It's like, we gotta get a real job. Maybe I can video edit. I gotta learn how to video edit now. <laughs> That's, that's like the very first thing you think of is like, okay, well, I just need to become a uh, video editor guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, um, do you do you have any kind of like routine, like um, anything Go that's on sort walks. of? What's that? Go on walks. I listen to a lot of music that I've been meaning to listen to. Mm hmm. Um, I'm right now. I'm deep into Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, PS4. That's, oh, dude. It's so good. It's oh, I so wish I could play good. video games. I miss, dude. I I have not. the 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 one thing that I did the first week that I knew that something was really changing inside me was I texted um one of the Nice Life guys actually, and uh, I was Ethan, I think, my engineer, and I was like. Don't they have like a Nintendo where you can play the old <laughs> Nintendo game? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't yeah, get it, but yeah. still. I just oh want to go left to right in a video game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Just want to be able to like j like jump and jump on things and kill them and that's it. <laughs> just kind of bonk stuff. Um <laughs> also I was saying this earlier uh before I actually brought you in but um I was telling people how we had our hang through the gate the other day where you brought your brought your own chair <laughs> and your cup yeah. of tea. Um, Pretty surreal. So it was, I had like a really cute and kind of sad picture of my, of my daughter who loves you, like, you know, looking through the gate, talking to you. Um, but it, like tonight, I just feel like I opened a Pandora's box tonight. She count, comes in after a bath and she's like, Dad, I, uh, could we talk to Grandma and Grandpa through the gate, like Zach? And they live yeah. up in the Bay Area. Yeah. And I was like, oh, uh, maybe. Like, yeah. I don't know if they're going to jump on a plane and risk their older person health to talk through the gate to us. <laughs> yeah. Like the saddest shit. But it was really awesome hanging with you the other day. That was like, yeah. felt like a big deal. It was. I mean, I haven't seen anybody, you know, so it's like means a lot. Yeah, man. Well, uh, I'm going to I want to put it out to the people in the chat for a second. I know we have some Fiddler fans in here. Um, see if anybody has any questions for you, because um, I know this is probably sort of a rare opportunity for them. But aren't you also doing like a, a show or a stream or you're? I saw something yeah, paddle. about paddling. What's paddling? Yeah, What's happening? paddling around. Okay, so uh, uh, this started. Um, my mom, my, my dad is a constant pacer. He just can't sit still. So every time I go home, I'm just like, "Where's my da Where's dad at?" And he's like, "I don't know. He's paddling around the house." Because when you're surfing, you're just paddling most of the right. time. Right. Right. And then there's this thing of like when you're learning how to surf everybody just yells paddle to you like when you're trying to catch a wave they're just like paddle 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 so, is that is that encouragement or is that like don't even try get back down on your belly you loser it's encouragement in like a very like baseball dad way you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> right yeah so right. I, was, I was channeling that and i don't know it was just being bored in the house and ask, I mean, we, the amount of crazy stuff I get in my DMs, I figured it'd be time to answer some of these questions. Tight. So it's it's more or less you answering the insane questions from your your lovely people. 
Yeah, yeah, the Fidiots. That's the Fidiots. Okay, well, actually, we have some coming in now. Um, Henry Jackson, who, first of all, says your Insta clips are good content. He wants to know what was the hardest Fiddler song for you to make? Um, you know, uh, probably that one we did with K-Flay. Mmm. Yeah. That was. Told you twice. Yeah. Yeah. That was, man, that was fun. It was fun figuring that out. That was like Elvis's dream scenario. Yeah. <laughs> like being like, okay, what if we run, what if we split the signal to yeah. this amp that's breaking currently? Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, like there's smoke coming out of it. Let's send a signal to that one. Let's side chain it to this analog drum. Uh, hmm. What if we yeah. side chain only the reverb? Yeah. Run that out of a different like we worked on Elvis's tone on that for fucking hours, yeah. <laughs> like, and then reverse it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then fucking drop it in Ableton and just like, fucking. <laughs> so I, I'll do it. <laughs> I think I got that plugin. <laughs> right, right. This is the this is the uh, the sort of fiddler dichotomy Elvis nightmare of. Just perfecting the tone for eight hours, and then Zach being like, "Can I just fucking drop in Ableton and dick around with it for a few <laughs> minutes?" It's the classic <laughs> struggle, man. Yeah. Um, DJ Moist in the chat says K Flay is dope. Carolyn Metcalf said, "Call you twice." Um, yes. Okay, here we go. Rick Salter, you're my favorite rock singer, Zach. What are your favorite guitar pedals? That's a fun one. Yeah, the free ones. Those, those okay, okay. Well, let's let's, uh, let's I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, rephrase. What are guitar pedals that you would uh, consider spending your own money on? Oh, f very few. Um, I think my whole thing with guitar stuff is I want to make it sound not like a guitar, and that to me is the funnest part about the guitar. Mm. I, I'm not a shredder elvis is an insane shredder and such a good guitar player i kind of most of the guitar is just him and then my job is just to cut it up and piece it together you know right so i like i use guitar pedals as like a tool to just get where i want you and i are the same in that regard just get me yeah. where i want with whatever i need to get there Usually um, my favorite guitar players are usually the most useless guitar pedals in the world. <laughs> like, how can you fit this glitchy blah, 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 thing, you know? Right, right. Just esoteric, psycho. Um, shit. Yeah, DJ Moist says Earthquaker, right. They definitely have some good psycho stuff. Um, yep. Yep. Thank you, Rick. Rick says, that's cool. Thanks for answering. You made my night, man. Um, we'll do one more from Davidi Miller. Would you ever play in Asia, possibly Hong Kong? Man, I, we played Japan, you know, um, but we actually were on our way to do the laneway tour, and the first stop is in Singapore. Okay. And they wouldn't let us in because Whoa. our content, our our songs were too like drug related, party related. Mm. So we couldn't do it. Yeah, it, it's a weird one because I know Asia is really strict on that kind of stuff. I would love to play Southeast Asia. There's a huge booming punk scene happening in Southeast Asia right now. Whoa. Um, it's all out of like necessity. There's a lot of turmoil, especially even Japan. It's such a conservative country that like now there's a huge punk scene happening. Wow. Yeah, oh, it's pretty it's pretty rad. But I would love to play Hong Kong. I remember talking to you about that uh, documentary I just watched. Yeah. Uh, about uh, China just taking over Hong Kong again, and it just broke my heart. 
Whoa. Um, but uh, yeah, I would love to play Hong Kong if they would let us in. I mean, <laughs> honestly, we, we would. <laughs> right. That, I guess, is uh, sort of step one is actually being allowed to uh, fucking allowed to allowed go. To play. <laughs> um, well, I, I have an idea. I mean, I was going to, I was going to, oh shit, Tom Payton's in the chat. Zach, I just want to let oh, you know. Payton. I yes, just want to let you my know. Man. Um, my man. you know, I'll do, I'll do one more and then I'm going to actually have you stick around and join me for our next segment. But one more question from Riley says, are you planning on releasing new music anytime soon? And there's a... And there's emojis. There's like the the this emoji. The like, oh, cute. and then and then yeah. uh, this. Yeah, two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we we would love to release new music. It's it's just about figuring out how to do that right now. Right, right. We are sitting on a lot of music, as you know. It's just mm-hmm. such a. It's really hard to connect the four of us right now because everybody's going through such a hard time with this whole thing right right yeah i was uh i was talking to terrace martin a guest that i had on a few weeks ago and he was making a really good point he's like you know records that require everybody getting in a room to make there's not going to be as many of them right now yeah um yeah and that's kind of the stigma we're up against because that's really where fiddler happens if it's the four of us Right, right, yeah. It is a tough time, man. But we're gonna figure it out and get that shit out to the people. We're gonna feed the damn streets. Um. Okay, Zach, will you yes. you want to stick around for this next part? We're gonna bring jazz in. So Let's do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring jazz on. What we're gonna do next? Um, I don't know if you've seen us do this before, but we take a demo. Um from someone out in the world and we listen to it and we give it what we call the thoughtful roast. I mean, we're usually pretty nice, but yeah. just sort of listen to a piece of music that jazz has selected for us and uh, fucking see what we think. You want to stick around and do that? Yeah, let's do it. Tight. All right, I'm going to bring jazz in. Let's see if we can. Hey, jazz. Hey, everyone. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, 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 good. Everyone say hello to Jazz in the chat. Jazz is in the mix. How are you feeling, Jazz? You know, it's Monday, um, but I'm feeling good. I'm happy to be again. Happy to play this demo for you. Okay, I like all of that. You're <laughs> like, you know, it's Monday. I'm like, actually, I don't know what that means at all because <laughs> trying to keep track of the days at this point is a damn fool's errand um 420 celebrate 420 i didn't get to this year but um you know we're rooting for (laughs) everyone out there i saw a lot of fun instagram stories um Mm -hmm. i'm I'm thinking about making a compilation of all all my uh favorite blazers (laughs) hell yeah (laughs) yeah uh um, Jazz Zach sent me a uh, link earlier for the what was it like the the worldwide like international smoke sesh or whatever Hell it was yeah. Zach or twenty you can't stop us bro that's what it was. you can't Dude, stop the sesh bro it was four four twenties and the date yeah. this year you got I it was know. the four twenty of four twenties whoa oh right yeah, four twenty it only happens once, ever. Yeah, you got four twenty the day, four twenty the time, four two zero of twenty twenty, and then four two twenty two zero of the twenty of twenty. Oh, dude! <laughs> I know it almost feels jazz like you were about to get into like <laughs> some third eye like numerology vibe. I felt like you. Were... No, literally. <laughs> I was one, one degree uh... away. Every year, though, I got to reblog that photo of Rihanna with, like, the two massive, like, uh, joints. She yeah, has, like, dude. two huge ones. Please. Too good. P- please do that. Um, 
Okay, so I, I have a demo here. I don't know anything about it. Zach is going to join tonight. Let Amazing. us know what he's thinking. Um, tell us, tell us what we got. What, what is this? Yeah, Do so we know from, the artist? Where they're from? What's the deal? Uh, it's from Will Morris, who's usually um, in the chat. Oh, so cool! So hopefully they're here again today. Okay. Um, they're a college student from Kansas, and really, um, he is typically used to making like a lot of like sadder songs and slower songs so he wanted to kind of like change the pace up a little bit um okay. and yeah he said it's kind of just more it's vaguely about like just growing up and kind of you know becoming a little uh like cynical and jaded and like just not as naive as maybe you are when you're younger uh -huh, and just the right. feeling surrounding that <laughs> right well oh will morris is in the chat will morris is right. one Hi, of the will. only people in the whole chat without an icon come on will <laughs> where's your where's your logo will where's your um, avatar dog so well i mean we can definitely all relate to that i i feel like the I, this is a little bit philosophical do you guys feel like the cynics are kind of getting like this is their moment. Like they're getting proven right. Like I've been telling you the system was bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> totally. And there's people like me trying to be like, no, the system is mostly it's run by well meaning people and it's, sometimes things fall through the cracks and then you get to this and you're <laughs> like, Oh, the whole thing is kind of a sham, isn't it? Um It's kind of a crazy moment. It's Will is your is your song about how the whole system is a sham? <laughs> Let My us know. Bad. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, no, I feel like that totally, I mean, probably a lot of people can relate to just that feeling right now. If if it's not something that just came with age, like it's definitely something that comes with the scenario of everything going on right now. And you're just like, fuck. <laughs> right, right, right. When you, when you find out that, uh, you know, when you really just like for the first time wrap your heads around like, Oh yeah, hospitals have been downsizing because having extra beds makes them less profitable. But when this happens, they don't have enough room for all the sick be that <laughs> fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's 420. Yeah. So true. <laughs> anyways, let's listen to Will Morris. The song is called, called Seascape. Will is in the chat. The song is about two and a half minutes long. We're going to do two listens as usual. Zach, are you ready to jam with us? Hear it. All right. This is Will Morris Seascape on Nice Live. Let us know what you're thinking. When did I learn to look away from light that shines on me? Sinking into mystery was all the comfort I could keep. I was getting carried away. I was getting carried away. Hey.
Huge. <laughs> That's like the only music I want to listen to for the rest of quarantine. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, before we get too far into it, we're going to do one more listen. I was so deep in that that I can barely recall any actual actual details about it. Uh, let's give it one more listen. Jazz, Zach, this is Will Morris. Silky as ever. Great sounds. Let's give that one more spin. Seascape. People in the chat, let us know what you're thinking. Drop some verse lyrics in the chat. We would love to see them. People in the chat are saying some great things, Will. People are loving this. David says, get an agent or manager. <laughs> I think he's right. William Morris. <laughs> Will, Will, William Morris. <laughs> it's the same. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> um, we have uh, Ben Ledger's vocals are fire. Miles T, 1998, is chillest vibes for quarantine stress. Um, Voco Pie says, love it. Tyler Gunn's super relaxing. I love this one from Jonathan Giovanni. Makes me want to smoke and hug the homies. <laughs> um, we also oh, my God, ha- same. Uh, <laughs> we also have um, Not Handsome Cody says, the song has potential, needs some production. Gabe says the flute is fun, but it's the only part I'm questioning because it feels like it should be either not there or stand out more. That's I 
can sometimes agree with that kind of logic. Um, jazz first. Uh, I mean, tell us why this stood out to you, and then me and Zach will fire away. Um, I think it just had a lot of really cool elements that, I don't know, I'm just not used to hearing really anymore. It's really rare, like the yeah. flu, and there's, I think, like some strings in there, and just the way it builds was really nice. Yeah. And it had like a cool little breakdown too, which is, you know, I don't know. I just thought it was a cool song. Yeah, it's, it's just incredible. Um, Abby Holland in the chat says, someone sign this man in all caps. Abby, is uh, Will your boyfriend or son or brother? <laughs> <laughs> it is true, though. I mean, he's he is incredible. Zach, how do you feel about it? That's great. I mean, it's like, it's so crazy how you can make such good music now. And it's a great song that stands out. That's, I mean, yeah. number one, right? Right. I mean... In headphones, God damn, it just sounded so good. I mean, you know, we'll get to his voice, um, but the sounds, the the production, like the drum sounds, were insane, insane. The yeah, that's a guitar, dead hard point. like crazy engineering. It sounded so good. I was hearing like, and I usually am not much of do much panning with the drums, but like the hat was kind of on my right. The snare was like off center a little bit and the detail of it was so rich. It reminded me of some of the great like um Scandinavian two thousands indie stuff like the Peter Bjorn John or kind of a uh poor rich ones, um, Kings of Convenience, even like oh, Phoenix man. a little bit, Tahiti eighty Phoenix in their mellower moments. Yeah. Um it's rare that an American can get as smooth <laughs> as Phoenix. Um, yeah. And that shit was just amazing. Wow, Leo is saying Daniel Caesar vibes. Will, okay, Will is saying shout out to my friend Mark for the mix. Mixed yeah. by friend Mark. Um, okay, so as far as, you know, this is a tough one to think about any way to improve it. Uh, in any way I can think of. Uh, Tom Payton also here saying Cardigans vibe a bit. Yes, true. Cigaros. Um, you know, it's so beautiful. I'm going to go back and read the verse lyrics. Sorry, Will, if I'm going to embarrass you here, but I'm going to read these like I'm your fucking dad. Um, when did I <laughs> learn to look away from the light, from light that shines on me and shrinking into mystery was all the comfort I could keep. I keep getting carried away. Um, when did I learn to swallow hate? That wine is dark and sweet. Let's all get drunk in single file. The dose is always free. So, lyrically, I mean, it's it's beautiful. I, I I'm it's a little it's a little bit uh, what's the word? Impressionistic. Um. It's like not literal, and obviously that's okay because the song is deliberately puts you in sort of this trance-like state, and it's awesome. Uh, am I right, lyric? Uh, am I right, Will? That the the chorus lyric was "I keep getting carried away." Zach, is that what you heard? I keep getting yeah. carried away. Right. Um, which obviously is almost sort of an onomatopoeia of sorts. It's like you're getting carried away in the song. I did think there was an opportunity. If you want the song to be less impressionistic, if you want a stronger, more direct takeaway, there's a great space at the end of the chorus. Uh, I keep getting carried away. I keep getting carried away. And then you pause. Hey, hey, hey. there's a little chord turnaround. Um, that could be an opportunity. I'll show everybody what I'm talking about here. Yeah. So right here. I love that you're not in a rush, Will. Um, 
but that could be a space if you wanted to have a uh if you want to sort of like put a bow on the idea that's that's the space for it but also the space is good i mean you're killing it with your use of space in this um now let's listen to the outro just one more time so we can talk about that because this shit so Jazz, were you when you guys heard that? Did you have the same reaction as me? Essentially, like, f- fuck. <laughs> yeah. That, that was that was the moment for me because as we were going through the song, I was like wondering, okay, I'm in this place. I love it. Sometimes I love music that doesn't have a break or a big change. But I was like, I wonder if he could break it. Like, what would it be to? give us a hard left to give us a scene change and do something really exciting and somehow that outro is so exciting and so different but like is still just as i don't know syrupy as the rest of it um one thing i was gonna say that you could do because if if i was listening if like somebody sent me that and i was just rifling through my phone checking shit out um you know, I might, I might not make it to the end. I have a super short attention span. Um, jazz, like when you first received this song, do you, do you listen to them all the way through, or do you listen to the first thirty seconds and you're like, yeah, this is tight, and then move on? I mostly listen to them all the way through, unless there's something in the initial, like thirty seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds, and I'm like, nope, I'm not recovering from this. Like, <laughs> recover is such a good word. This is, this is, beyond, this is beyond repair uh, right here from the jump. Um, yes, I was going to say, like, you know, well, then, hey, some, some of Zach's songs, I mean, um, didn't we have one on the last album that was, like, under 30 seconds? Was it Nuke, yeah. like, 20 seconds or something? I think we made it 36 seconds to get that Spotify royalty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be tight? Not this wouldn't be tight. This is not tight. But something that one could do would be to make an album where everything is under the amount that would get counted for a stream and then like try to make some fucking big deal out of it. Like Yeah. yeah. They'll protest at Spotify headquarters. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, so that's another thing I was going to say, Will. I mean, you could consider, I love, like, in a second verse, just flipping it on people. You could drop it there. Um, but this shit was just so sick. I honestly just kind of want to, like, rip it to my phone and listen to it more. Um, so anyways, thank you, Jazz. I'm going to hang with Zach for just another minute. Uh, we're going to we're going to live premiere something else that we didn't tell anybody about. Jazz, I'll see you in a little bit, oh, but stay hey, in the chat, yeah, okay? All right, bye, guys. All right, bye. see you soon. Hey, bro. Buckle up. Buckle up. So maybe I wonder, if I, could, I wonder if I could get either John Robert or Brad back. If either of you guys are around, uh, let's see if I... Oh, dude, did you just send it to me? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. So, uh, let's see here. So, last week, we uh, we did something interesting. See if I can find it. Last week, I did some production work on a tune. I'm trying to locate it so we can all have a listen and not play anything unreleased that'll get me in big trouble. Hmm.
Sorry, people. I, Zach, I usually have a very, very fancy, um, very fancy setup here where you can see me scrolling through uh, Pro Tools and not finding what I'm looking for. You can see it in real time, me uh, being confused by my lack of organization. <clears throat> it's pretty good. So. Hmm. Got to get your Pro Tools hygiene up, bro. I really do, dude. I really do. Hold on, let me let me look for this. So we actually, so John Robert was actually in the mix last week, and he heard me working on this thing live, and he sent uh, he sent a vocal in, and it was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was fire. It was so cool. Okay, great. I found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. It was over this. Oh, is this it? No. This was Thursday. It was before that, right? Mm-hmm. Let me see here. Sorry, not that. Nice life theme. Aha, 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 aha. This is it. It was over this. Yeah, sort of a melancholy, kind of beautiful piece of music. He, he wrote this incredible vocal melody over it. It was fun. It, it, was, a, it was a good show. But you and I chatted. You were in the chat that night, right? Like watching what was yeah. happening? Yeah. Um, and... You made something. Yeah, I ruined it. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's supposed to be what I do. <laughs> um, and I thought, what a better way to uh, show people your work than to just play it on the damn show. So I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring Brad in also. Can we bring? Brad back? Let's see, where is he at? Get rid of this thoughtful rose. Brad. Hey, Brad. Hello. Hey. I'm clocked out. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at out. least you're not naked. Yeah. Either, I did think about coming in without my shirt on, but it's Monday. Not yet. Not hey, it's yet. only Monday. You got, the whole, <laughs> you got the whole week to unravel. Dude, I got so many more days. <laughs> you got so many more days. Um, <laughs> So, anyways, uh, Zach has done something um, I think that's probably truly beautiful with this instrument. <laughs> I mean, that's all I expect from Zach. Uh, I, I like we worked on it a little bit together, but I just sent him what I had done on it like an hour ago, and I have not heard what uh, I'm about to play right now. No one besides Zach has heard this. So, this is about I a just minute. Did it. This is about a. What'd you say? I just did this, so you know, like, just remember that. Yeah. Bring it out. Um, people in the damn chat, uh, we're about to fucking drop into God knows what. Zach sent it to me just now. It's called WTF LOL 128. I'm gonna pour some wine, and I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go out on this because I think, as Jazz said earlier, this feels like something that we're not gonna be able to recover from. Yes, yes, you won't. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna say my goodbyes now. Thank you to John Robert for coming through. Jazz, of course, Brad and Zach from Fiddler. People in the chat, Brad, can we fucking clap it up for Zach? Yay. Good job. Um, I'll be back on Thursday night at 8.30, same time, producing something top to bottom. I'm hoping uh, Zach will help me ruin that as well. Here's the shit he just sent me. Let's see what the fuck happened. Stereophonic sound. Oh boy.
So emotional. This is a journey into sound. A journey which along the way will bring to you new color, new dimension, new values, and a new experience. Are you ready? <laughs> Kick it. Bring the beat back. What the fuck? <laughs> 420 <laughs> special. The 420 special. Plays the entire thing. Oh my god. Damn, Zach. Oh, my God. Uh, so goddamn proud of you, Zach. I'm so goddamn proud Zach of you. Zach from Holy Fiddler, shit. thank you so much for fucking... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. For bringing us on, dude. Thank you. Thank it's you. such a great job, Zach. Oh, uh, hit, hit me up on my DMs. I'm mixing songs for 100 bucks. I'll do a deal. Two for one. Hit me up. Keep Zach Keep in business. Yeah. Oh, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. It's been awesome. Uh, we'll see you Thursday, 8.30, same place. Uh, yeah, on the fucking internet. Zach, Brad, thank you guys so much.